hey everybody welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video so you guys today's video is going to be a grocery haul let's jump right in all right you guys so we shopped at two stores and i wanted to share something with you all especially those of you who are doing the preps right so what i've decided is instead of always trying to go and do a huge prep every single month I'm going to start following Harris Teeter for their sales. Now, last week I was able to get, I think it was beans on sale. I got 10 cans of beans. This week I got 10 cans of green beans and they had paper, to, paper towels and toilet paper on sale. So I was able to stock up there. So each week I'm just going to follow Harris Teeter for their specials to see what I can put in my prep pantry. We also shopped at Walmart to pick up our main groceries. So I'm gonna show you what we have. Now we're still trying to figure out this food situation. Um, right now I'm maintaining my weight. I'm still not losing, but I haven't worked out. Well, no, last night I, I did the bike, but I have paused my 75 hard, which I have to start again. So prior to me getting sick, I actually worked out for 60 straight days. So, um, that was really good and helpful. However, I've got to get back on it. So I'm trying to get better before I start the two a day workouts again. And I feel, I'm feeling good. I'm just not back to 100% like I was prior to getting sick. So I don't want to have a setback as the old folks would say. But with that being said, I'm going to have to do more with my nutrition. So I did look up, um, dairy free keto today to see what that was like. It's pretty much Whole30. I mean, honestly, really, it's pretty much Whole30. Um, with the exception of some of the fruit options. So I'm gonna be looking at that. But I felt the best when I was on keto. I feel fine on Whole30. I just have a tendency to be very loyal to things and I am pretty loyal to keto. Um, I say that. And then I'll go back to Whole30. And then I've toyed around with just eating whatever I want to eat and working out. So, but I, I do not want to lose ground. I swear I cannot lose ground. Um, so I'm going to show you what I was able to get for groceries this week. And we are going to work out the, um, we're going to work out the food as we continue to just journey along. So here's our haul. We went to Walmart and then we went to Harris Teeter. So everything here is gonna go to the pantry for stock ups. They had this sparkle with six rolls of paper towels for $4.97. And then they had the Angel Soft double rolls for $4.97. You could get a limit of two each. I wish I had coupons because I would have saved a little on the Angel Soft, but I didn't have any coupons. And then we needed those snack bags. They were a dollar each. And then their green beans or corn were on sale for 37 cents. You could only get 10 total and we don't eat corn so i got 10 green beans then uh the kids asked for some carb smart uh ice cream well they asked for ice cream i told them they had to get carb smart so we got briars um that was 6.99 6.39 buy one get one free so that's what we got at harris teeter and we spent 31 dollars there then we went over to walmart and i had some extra money um so I got Jackson these uh, pre-sliced bagels for $1.50. And then we picked up, for me and sister, these um, 100 calorie grain um, English muffins. So we picked those up. They were $2.68, I think. And then I got this pre-sliced raisin bread for Jackson. Um, I think I'll try to get some keto bread, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, that was $1.18, I think. Picked up uh, sweet potatoes, $2.44, and then I got a 10-pound bag of russet potatoes. They were less than $5, or five, right at $5. Picked up three of the tri-colored coleslaw. I don't plan to cut another cabbage again in my life. That was $1.77 each. Probably cheaper to buy the cabbage, but listen, I got to take convenience. Um, bananas, I don't remember the pounds, but I think we paid $0.85 cents for this. Now, this is dairy, but it is whole milk mozzarella cheese only thing it has it's uh pasteurized milk vinegar salt and enzymes so i'm gonna give this a try like the raw cheese that i get at sam's but i don't have a sam's and my friend couldn't go with me 
Um, I think this was like 314. So I'm going to just shred this up a little bit in whatever eggs or something I'm going to plan to eat. This um, garden vegetable and then the uh, brown sugar and cinnamon cream cheese. I got that for Jackson for his um, bagels. They were like $1.50 or something. I picked up this um, uh, vegan butter. This is uh, for uh, plant-based butter. So that was over $5, but I'm glad they had that because normally you can only get it at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. Um, oranges were four bucks for three pounds. Grapes were a dollar something per pound. The seedless, the organic gala apples were four, less than $5. They were cheaper than the regular apples this week. Um, strawberries were two eighty two Mott's sugar free applesauce, which I take in my lunchbox was two dollars and eighteen cents and then I got three things of raisins for a dollar each. The kids asked for almond milk. we got two of those. I got this zero sugar peppermint uh, mocha for my coffee that 's the only thing that I do that 's not whole thirty uh, compliant is the coffee creamer uh, max pork rinds because I wanted to make a keto stuffing. It's um, raining here. It's getting to be fall, and I want to do some comfort foods, which is why I'm thinking about going back to keto. So, anywho, that was two sixty eight, and then eggs are back up. So I only got the um, thirty six or the two uh, eighteen cartons. This was like four dollars. The sixty count was over six dollars, and normally at that Walmart, I could get that sixty count for a dollar seventy five. So eggs are back up. Then I got five pounds of ground beef. This was like $15, but it's the 7327, which is a little higher fat content. So I picked that up. So we're gonna do that in one pound. Uh, we'll do this in one pound slices and put it in uh, Ziploc bags for the freezer. So at uh, Walmart, I spent $81. So above my budget, but I had, um, I had some money come in today that I could use for groceries. So there we have it with Walmart and then Harris Teeter. As far as meals, I am not sure what we're looking at for meals. Um, probably a cottage pie. We'll do cottage pie one night because I've got the potatoes and I have the ground beef. We will probably do the coleslaw and the ground beef. So that'll be like egg roll in a bowl. We will definitely do some of these sweet potatoes and regular potatoes as a meal prep. And then tonight we're having chicken because we had chicken last night for dinner. So we have leftover chicken. Um, I think we have tilapia in there so we could have fish and chips actually because we could do potatoes as chips and I can do fish. So limited on what we're having because I just haven't sat down and thought about it. But definitely a couple of ground beef meals, some fish meals and chicken. So there it is, you guys. Really, really um quick and easy way to do some preps really quick. I think the preps would have cost me like 20 bucks if I hadn't got the ice cream and the um, uh, snack bags. So there that is. But anywho, there it is, you guys. If you liked the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like the video and um, hit that little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. I just did a reel on Instagram grabbing my prep so head over to instagram and check out that reel and we'll see you guys next time bye now